So here's what I want to do. Um, there's an achievement. Deal 1 billion damage with Balloon Master Alchemist. Now it's a challenge in itself. What if we get it in one game? It's doable. It's doable for sure. But how long will it take? Well, I want to try to get it the earliest, earliest possible. And the way to do that is in double HP mobs. Not gonna do challenge editor. I'm not sure if it's even like valid in editor. So that'd be logs. Now before I go in actually, before I go in, should I disable knowledge? Because there's one knowledge that decreases HP, which makes it 10% uh, slower. We should definitely keep knowledge on. 5% more attack speed. That actually um, overrides the 10% decrease, I think. Well, not fully, but I think we'll keep knowledge on. And if we want to turn off mid-game, then we'll pull the plug, but we might not have to. So here we go. Logs, hard, double HP, you want a Zealy to one-shot the bads. Like, this isn't just a late-game run. This is like, I'm gonna try to get every single damage on the BMA. So like, if we're getting temples, it's not gonna be at the front, taking away damage. Also, no instas, no instas. We're playing it fair. With no powers, just farming from the start. I brought a Zilli here. I don't know if I want to use Hex though, because it is gonna one shot a bad, but that means I can't get the the Zoom G's from the bad, right? So the BMA doesn't get the, the damage from that. That's also one thing to keep in mind. Better to farm to get buffs as early as possible, that's true, that's true. Because there's not a lot of balloons to be popped early game, you know? If you get the BMA on round 60 versus round 80, it doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Because BMA will get millions around starting in free play. Bank. Round 26 bank, boys. How's my farming? Is it up to par? It's been a long time since I farmed up for late game. I remember when the game came out, I, I did a lot of late game challenges, like how much money can you get by round 100? And then just vengeful temples, etc. All that. So this is kind of like a trip down memory lane. Learning how to make a lot of money early game again. I think we'll go for Jutes now, honestly. Because the banks won't, give, won't be giving me money, but I need that, that money over time. And that's where this guy would come in handy. Um, I believe he got nerfed also. The range got nerfed, if I remember correctly. So that kind of sucks, but we'll make do with it. Druid only works within direct range now. Oh, that's... That's kind of bad. Because, yeah, before it would definitely reach up here. So the range decrease is pretty, pretty massive. Damn. Only 800. Oh, wasn't the money nerf too? Yeah. It's like 200 plus 1 for every farm. Which is 6. So never mind. All the farms reach here. But we only get 100 per farm versus 150. Because I remember it was 150 before, and that was that was really juicy. Good times. Unfortunately, those times are over. Uh, what kind of temple am I going to go? I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Which sacrifice do I get rid of? Primary magic support? No military? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's actually really important. Yep, yep, yep. No military, or less military. So it's important that when we get a temple, do not go military. I mean, I guess if we go for Vengeful, we might as well get one military to help out, but I don't know. That's going to take away a lot of pops, because the Spectres have, have global range. And you do not want global range. So it would have to be a 2 one 2, two Temple. I'd also love to have, like, no military at all. But I'm pretty sure if you don't max out a Temple, you can't get Vengeful. Is that is that correct? Like, you can't get a 2 zero two two Vengeful. I'd love to, just for the sake of this challenge, but I don't think it's that's possible. So, with that said, we're also not going to buy Vengeful until we absolutely have to. So we're just going to keep it at, like, a, a 1 0 one, one Temple to start off. And then when things get hard, then we then we pull the plug. I feel like we have more than enough money at this point, you know? so we'll just go for the BMA now. Round 75. Let's get started, boys. Let's get started. So, if I want to just give it some light buffs, we'll, we'll do the following. Jungle Drums... Uh, and again, I'm gonna save for the billionth time. Um, these upgrades, they do not affect the BMA. Alright? So, I'm not gonna upgrade any of these. Because I don't have to. Well, actually, if I... I think this would do more, right? Just a little bit, because Perishing Potions does something. Bam! $170,000 all at once. Let's get a tier 5 farm. All tier 5 farms, like... 
don't you think we have enough at this point? I think we do, but I'll just do a little bit more, just in case. You can never go uh, too overboard, I guess. I guess we'll start getting slows too, so here's what I'll do. More blue, boys. More blue helps a lot. We shouldn't worry about placement too much, because again, I can Chinook everything. So even though this is a really messy defense right now, it's okay. We'll be alright. But here we go, BMA's trying to get some pops in. Trying to get its first million. Guys, we are 1 2,000th of the way there. 1 2,000th. When should I go for a temple? Now? If so, I want to start- I just want to straight up get that, uh, Vengeful. Or no, 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 no. You know what's better? Probably just going for a 0002, uh, True Sun God. Basically, all support. We're at a million dollars. I think it's time. Let me slow down the game. We're gonna start that top right, um, True Sun God Temple. So let me start clearing land. These banks are not giving money at this point, or at least not a lot. Oh, here's a bad. Definitely make sure to use, um, the Elim. Let me just see if one Elim at this point can break a bad layer. If not, I may need to get a first strike. Or I just might have to actually use Azili on every bad. Because we actually might not do enough damage. Oh boy. I think we should just Azili. Like, screw the damage that we lose from not popping, getting Zoom Gs here. We just might not have enough in the tank. Yeah, it's taking a long time. Another Elim. Another first strike. Man. All that for, what, 20,000 pops? Definitely not worth it. So remember, we want a 2022 two, two, True Sun God. 2022. Two, two. Don't I just want 0002? No, it actually doesn't matter because if a Bloom gets to this point, it's 99% of the time a bad. Because Bloom Crush will stun everything at the front. Anyways, I'm just it's just one bad, so at this point, who cares? I'm just gonna use Hex to save time. Basically, what we want is to have a lot of damage at the halfway mark. And whatever BMA can snatch up, we let it do that. So, let me just confirm there's no there's no military towers. Yes, no military. Good, good, good. So, there it is. True Sun God. Let's give the BMA more pierce and attack speed. So, right here. Right here, boys. Also, make sure... Get a Jungle Drums buff. And there we go. We, uh, we honestly right now should be going for uh, tech bots. More tech bots. Like, always have Homeland up at all times. So, let's get that ready. Also, yeah, look at, the, look at those ass pools, I just noticed. That is one fast attack in, uh, Alchemist. That's how you know. Anyways, we are currently at 10 million. 1% of the way there. Don't worry, it goes up fast. That ramping is gonna be insane. We may only be at 10 million, but we're more than 1% of the way there. Also, did you see those, uh, those avatars? Man, they're hella strong. Oh, there's one Druid still. Sneaky. No, I want less abilities. Round 150 is 777 lives, so the ramping starts starts getting really insane. Apparently, at this point. Two bads. 160, update. 43 mil, alright, we're gonna check back at 170. See how much, like, pops we're getting every 10 rounds. So 43 mil at 160. See you in 9 rounds. One more tech bot. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, round 170, 1, 73 million, so about 30 million in 11 rounds. See, I'm telling ya, it, it's starting to... We're getting there, we're getting there. It almost doubled in 10 rounds. So if we keep that exponential curve, then we'll get there soon. Probably the only time you'll want exponential curve uh, right now. Let's be real. Yeah, currently, Blue Crush is getting all DT, so we actually don't need by Impale, it's crazy. Round 178. Look, DDTs, they don't get past this point. They don't. BMA just one-shots them. Ooh, I guess the only issue is that when these avatars attack, they kind of do damage to DTs, which, you know, deducts from the BMA. So somebody said uh, round 170 had 70 mil. We're almost at round 180. It's already got 36 mil since then. And yeah. 108 million. 110 million. It's actually going- Whoa, it's going like millions at a time, guys. What, what is this? Every shot is a million damage. Crazy. I'm trying to see how long can we go without the bench fall while still surviving. Because this true sign got in the corner is actually doing some pretty good work. Should we ever get range buffs, guys? Currently, it can we see a tiny corner. But maybe we want to be a little more powerful. At the expense of, you know, 
Potentially stealing away pops. Potentially. Oh, uh, 191. Update. 180. That's a big jump. What was it before? Did it say it was like 107 at 180? So that's about 70 million damage. What else do I need? Totem? Oh yeah, Totem would help. You know, let's drop Totem now for the memes. It actually only costs one life, so I can use it a thousand times without any worry. Alright. That also gives attack speed to the um, BMA. So yes, it could be very helpful. With that said, uh, round 200 coming soon. They're fortified bats. That contains 2 million RBE inside. Uh, I can't kill it though, I can't. I can't kill it without using Hex though. I gotta let go of the 2 million. That being said, we've gained about 60 million since round 190. It was at 180, last I checked. Look how much Pops Azili has taken away, 81 million. Granted, a lot of it's on the bad, bad layer. But if you think about the insights that we lost, it definitely adds up. Hurts a little bit. So at what point do we start, um... What point do we start getting more temples, or at least get the Vengeful? I know it doesn't get buffs, but I need damage. <laughs> I need damage, guys. We're struggling to bads. Struggle luggin. Now, you know what? Let's let's turn off auto start. I'm gonna get ready. Here's the thing. If I get Vengeful, it means I might be able to pop some bads without using Azili, which means be making it the insides. Which means more damage. Because right now we're losing damage. Because we're just one-shotting the insides. Look at Azili, 92 million like that. 276. Alright, let's get ready. Set it up. So I need to get rid of the support temple to start off. We're gonna move the, the BMA down here. Don't worry. Don't worry, see ya. And I think we're ready. We have everything set up. Shoes on God. Into Vengeful. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that Vengeful, boys. Holy crap, five bads? Oh boy. Uh, this is gonna be fun. This round. I'm not sure we actually have enough da damage, guys. Even with Azili. Four bat- two bats to go. I got another- another Hex in. Nice. Very close now. It's getting close. Round 222. 400. Azili, 177. Man, she's actually catching up. Kind of. So there we go. We're past halfway. Officially. 513 million. Just another 480 million to go. Soon I might need more than, uh, just this Vengeful. Maybe I need a support temple to buff the Vengeful. That could be a real possibility. 600 million. So just, like, six rounds after hit 500, we've got another 100. So based on my calculations, round 260-something. Guys, 242, we're almost two-thirds in. I'm telling ya, it's getting there. My guess is 260... 262. So 20 rounds to get the last, uh, 230 million. 330 million, sorry. We're actually popping a few bats, I'm noticing. Like, the insides. We can snipe some damage from, from ZMGs. Vengeful still got some firepower, it's got some pop. 758, 64, man, it's going up. <laughs> Guys, every shot. Every shot is literally, like, 2 million. And then the bats. We gotta have the Vengeful clean up. How much is Vengeful at, by the way? Pops? Oh, 279. Jeez. I think at this point, we shouldn't get any other tower, because it's too laggy. Way too laggy. Right now, this is actually good enough firepower. I'm surprised. Vengeful's holding off. I'm not noticing any difference between the rounds. Like, between round 220 and now, it's the same thing to me. Same feeling. Bro, there's so many bads. This is a really unlucky round. The more bats there are, the less BMA can, can, uh, can get. Which means, this is kind of RNG right now. How many pops he can get per round? Because I could get a lucky draw and get a bunch of fortified ZMGs. But if shit like this spawns, uh, we're in for a hard time. A very hard time. That said, my Vengeful is still putting in a lot of work. Almost killed the round, just one more to go through. I can't use Hex this part. I cannot Hex, I cannot Hex. I need to save it for next round. So please pop. Thank you. Nice. 882. 900. 90%. 90%. Alright. Can we get 100 in 6 rounds? That is the question. Am I a prophet? Can I see the future? Come on. I need more. Wow, this round's garbage. You gotta be kidding me. 909. I got a bad draw here, boys. 
75 to go. 50 million to go. Okay. We might actually get it earlier than 262, depending on the draw. And this is shaping up to be a very close finish. 259. Look at that. Instant 25 million this round. Okay. It's either next round or the round after. 260 or 261. So I was close. Play the round. 260. How much are we going to get? Just a fat 5 mil right there. Oh, now I got bad spawning. Uh oh. Yep. That was what I feared. A shit spawn means we just get 7 million. And then maybe something here. Maybe. If we can do some damage to these bats. 262 is still on the table. Why did I buy range, by the way? I, did, I don't know why I bought range. Hover over, BMA. 84 now. Okay. Getting some, some pops here. Salvaging. Oh, it's going to be really close. Turning last bend. 86. Oh, 1 billion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, that was <laughs> just like that. It just got an instant 15 million. And there it is. We've got Billy pops on BMA in one session. Took 261 rounds. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's gone faster, but that was pretty fast. About as fast as you could possibly get without dying. <laughs> I mean, we already stretched the limits pretty far. And yeah. Let me just compare pops. For the BMA to get 1 billion, the Vengeful has to get half a billion. And Azili, about the same. Is this the end, actually? Hold on, let me just see if I can beat this one round. I have no hex, by the way. So this actually could kill me. Could kill me. Could kill me. Nope. We survived. Nice. And we got the Blue Master Populous as a reward. Let's take a look. Look at that. We've got alerted. 